Okay, 10 and 0. What has this game got in store for us? Let's develop the night. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be one of those strange ones. Let's develop the knight, supporting the pawn. Castle. Go, he's got his knight, he's got his bishop. Yeah, let's push. Let's take. It's not, I'm going to say they're not going to take with the bishop. They never do. But this is going to be a strange game. So he's just giving up the pawn. But is it a proper give up? Are we getting ourselves set up? Let's take. doesn't look like it's got any support on it whatsoever. So it looks like a very strange game. But let's just play safe. Any other positions? Let's just bring the queen back. never know when you're falling into a set play coming across knight up attack the queen struggling with this bishop and put a two on one on the pawn I might not need to have to use the bishop. Or maybe I do. Queen's out, it's coming around. Bishop could attack their queen. Knight could just take the pawn. Rook comes here. Bishop attacks the queen. But then the queen gets the... Shall we go with the smaller piece attacking the higher piece first? Because the bishop wasn't doing anything, probably put it here. It's going for the exchange, so let's do that. I'm going to take the pawn, get the bishop here attacking the knight, supporting the knight if the rook comes. No, they haven't done. Could take this pawn. Is that being too greedy? Comes here, comes here. Knight's got a safe haven to come back on. Let's take the pawn. Oh, giving up a pawn. So focused on doing my own stuff. Let's attack the knight. It's attacking our knight. If we take, then his bishop takes. Our knight doesn't really have a safe place to move to, so I think we're just going to have to take their knight. Then move the knight, attacking the bishop. But then he's attacking the pawn at the side of the rook. Oh, it's not looking pretty. Okay, let's attack the bishop. Move the rook attacking the bishop. Nope, let's take the bishop for free. Said it was going to be a strange game. Still looked good for them at well, certain points. But now they're just giving up pieces. Let's move the knight out of the way. Double the rooks. Still playing on, just nice steady development now. We don't need to go crazy. Should we push this pawn here? Let's push on to the king. Let's move the knight. Attack the rook. Probably give it to us for free. Nope. Okay, let's take the pawn. It's looking for some still matey type looking position with his king I'm going to attack the rook take the pawn could have just taken the rook really couldn't we being a little bit arty there <laughs> yeah he's wanting the stalemate position with his king if we move up then his king can't move anywhere Hmm, interesting times. I'm going to sacrifice the knight. Ah, he's come down. He's come down. Let's 
Go check on. Or oh, there. I was going to take this pawn, but now I'm thinking this might be a little bit better for us because it does have space to move. So I'm going to bring the rook king up. It's attacking the knight. I'm going to bring the knight across. Little touch on here. Let's put the check on. Squeeze the knight around. Yeah, we could get fancy, but then his rook can actually come down and put a check on our king. We will probably lose the rook then. So shall we dance a little bit? I think we can dance a little bit, can we? Yeah. Excellent. Now it's not got a check on his king. We could come down here. His rook takes the knight. Let's just move the knight, but then we're going to get checked. <laughs> One way to mess up a game. Boom, boom, boom. Put a check on again. Put a check on again. Uh, it's moving out of the way. So we can go with the knight here, then when he does come down, we can move the king here. Yep, sound like a plan. So if I came down, he takes... If I come down here, then it's going to be a check mater, isn't it? So if he takes the knight, then we just go here, checkmate. Totally overthinking that situation. Boom. Ten and oh, let's see what we've got. Oh, a bit urgent with this pawn move. What do we do? What do we do? I'm actually going to push past. And this time I'll take. Attack the king. Take the bishop. Let's get castled. Push, open the dark square bishop. Got to look to give our king some company. So I'm going to bring the bishop here. Get the knight out. Maybe inside. Okay, so it's looking like we're going for a little bit of a dance. Let's take rook support in the pawn. Give the king some company. Do we get the queen out first? Let's push this pawn. Get the queen out first. It probably gets a touch on. Then we want to get the knight here. Queen out first. Yes. No. Yes. Get the queen out first. Because they'll be chomping with their queen. Oh, they're allowing the knight to come through as well. And... They were cool about it because it's just blocked it off there. But I think we have a situation, maybe. But I think they're just going to trade the queen off. That would be nice because it gets a fault. Yeah, it's going to trade the queen off, like we said. Doubles the pawns type situation. We can escape our queen either way. Let's just take a bit of disturbance. Attack the rook. Rook not going to come all the way down because it would get taken. But it's not a safe place really for the knight because once the rook moves out of the way, the king comes here. And then the knight's got nowhere to go. So we're going to have to reverse and attack. Come up here, attack the pawn. Again, it's the same sort of situation, isn't it? We go here. We don't have a safe place to come back because we get taken. We are attacking this pawn, but that can be defended by one of the rooks. So where do we go from there? 
seems a bit nougatory, doesn't it? So I think we're going to attack it this way. It's a little bit safer. So the king is now in front of there. Let's hit this pawn. See if we make some space in front of the king. If they're taking, they're taking. Yeah, let's mm, take with the knight. Because then the knight can go boom. Not that it's much, but let's do that. We need to get these rooks up. Yeah, he's going for it. The king's going to come down and attack the knight. If they come down and attack, we can actually take the pawn. So maybe they're going across. We can go here with the knight, but we're doing too much with the knight at the minute. So we need to try and get the rooks up here. He's stopping that. So let's go for, go with it anyway. Because he's already got a rook here. Okay, so he's got two. Let's just take. Try not to be messing about. Let's uh, go here. See if we go for an edge. Oh, but that might have been a bit of an issue. Let's go and grab. That might be better for us. Let's attack the rook. Takes. King up. It's going to attack the pawn. It's waiting for my king to come here. He's going to drop down here. Let's go and bait it. Yeah, let's take. Let's push. It's pushing onto the king. It's coming for this pawn. Oh, he's not done that. Kind of blocked his way. Let's go here. Let's hit. Let's take. Zugzwang. If I come backwards, he's taking charge of this area here. No, no. I got Zugzwanged. Yeah, there's no way of coming back now. He's got choices there or there. He may have blocked himself in, so I probably thought he was coming with the pawn. But he's not really, because if his pawn comes down, we're going to be down a tempo anyway. So he's always going to be able to come behind the pawn. But his king can't get into these spots, so I'm just thinking, is it... Has he made itself a draw? I think he's made himself a draw. Yeah, it's a draw. Yeah, but it wasn't really because they I think they played it a little bit wrong in that end. I believe so. Right. Look at that massive minus eight. It's a massive Zugs one. So it's not even wrong there. That feels a bit wrong. But it's just showing minus three. So there's something that they can do. King e6. So he's kind of trying to win some tempo going backwards. So he's still winning. King e6 it's saying. What difference does that make? Because like, as we know, so king e6. So if I'm coming here, then it's saying f6. Oh, is it coming around here to champion this area? So if we did take, it's still showing minus six. King g6. King H5, King H4, it's, it's saying that these are faster, King takes H3, push, 
G4. Yeah, it is faster, isn't it? It's only got one, two, three. We've got one, two, three, four to go. Yeah. One takes one there. One queen. One queen. Okay. Ten no. Let's capture, let's attack the queen. Let's develop the knight. Let's push through the center. Let's attack the king. Let's bring the bishop back. Let's attack the knight. Let's attack the queen. Yep. Let's take the knight off the board with a check. Take the bishop off. Shh, I was just about to say attack the knight then, but that's okay. Let's uh, castle. Queen's doing a lot of dancing. Bring the rook opposite the queen. Let's get the knight up, attacking the unprotected pawn. Take the unprotected pawn, attacking the queen. Attack the queen again. This time the pawn is going to fall. So is there anything we can do to help? Queen. Could bring the queen here, but then the bishop is going to be attacking as well. So if we bring the queen here, the bishop comes. We can also push the pawn, but the pawn takes. There's a whole heap of stuff going on there. Could bring the bishop, but the knight's just going to take. So I'm going to give the pawn back to them because it's centralizing their queen and they're, oh, they haven't fallen for it. I was thinking if they went there, there's nothing protecting and we'll be able to get the discoverer check and get the queen off the board. But they have not fallen for it. So now I'm disappointed. <laughs> ah, okay. I put a lot of thought into that move. Let's attack the rook. Wow, they're seeing these things a little bit quick, aren't they? Let's attack the rook. If it moves here, then we can go for a check on the king. And oh, my giddy am. What? Now he's got like a two on one. Back to that situation. Two on one, the bishop and the knight. So if we push, pawn takes, bishop takes, then the rook's going to come flying here. But if the knight's still there, let's take. Let's take. They're a little bit wily, these. I'm not sure I'm liking this player. Hmm. Let's bring the rook here. Let's take the queen. Oh, bless them. You knew that they... <laughs> we thought that was free. Excellent. Did not like that player. Very wily indeed. Okay, 10 and 0. Let's support the pawn. Let's stop the fried liver. Let's attack the pawn. Well, really making space for the king castling. Let's castle. Uh, these types of situations we take then the pushing down onto the pawn. Don't think I'm liking them apples. Let's just push here. Supporting. Come back and attack the bishop. Got to make sure we move this pawn because this pawn will come down if they move the bishop. Yep, so going to make space for the knight to be able to come back. 
and they're doing a little bit of a different take on the situation. I'm going to hit the palm. They may just hit. And then we have to move. They're not doing that. I'm going to take. Excellent. So let's bring this queen just here and see if we can bring the knight to life. Might not do that just yet. Mm -hmm. Lacking the bishop going here, but we can't go there just yet. Let's bring the knight back. Get it here. It's a bit more active attacking the bishop. And now we can get the bishop. But it's not going to stay there for too long. This pawn's going to be coming down. No, nope, not doing anything that we're saying. So we could bring the knight up here, attacking rook and the bishop. Take the bishop. ready to move the bishop because the knight's probably going to move with the discover check on the we do have a two on one if the knight does move so we don't need to rush that could take with the bishop it's not actually doing that so the knight and the rook have got a two on one here bishop could attack the queen but that's not going to be very good is it because they just come here our queen doesn't have any protection so it does look like we are bringing the bishop back. Is there anything else? Can't go there because it's just going to take. Queen can't support it. Let's just bring it back. It's stopping the knight from attacking. Queen coming. He's got a dark square bishop. That's not going to work. Let's get this rook here. Maybe attack the queen but i think the rook is coming here already it's not doing that so I'll attack the queen and the bishop obviously so they've got a rook in the center of the board as we said rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless of course it's to your benefit if they're trying to squeeze across here somehow knight seems to be a single attack Queen doesn't have to do anything, you know, it can go here. We take the bishop and they're in front of our king area. Mm. Alright, so I'm gonna take. Now our bishop is like held to ransom looking after that, so the bishop still has some stealth. But this dark square bishop is just holding this. Holding this pawn, let's just bring this rook, supporting. So the knight's going to have to move if they are going for the exchange. But the slowness in which they're playing, I think they'll just drop the rook back. But then they'll lose the rook, but then the bishop is there, so maybe not so much. So his minor pieces, yeah, exactly. His minor pieces are a little bit more active than ours because we've got this dark square bishop. Once we take takes, then the bishop's going to end up there. Even we haven't got any speed to move this bishop around. It's probably just going to end up here. It's not got much life unless, of course, we did some sort of discovery on their knight. Let's take. Whoa. Oh, and they moved a little bit too fast there because we do have a check on his king. And they've left the game. Preemptive stuff. It's a killer. Okay, 10 and 0. Let's attack the palm. Develop the bishop. Doesn't want the fried liver. Let's 
Let's keep that. Let's bring the queen across. Looking to potentially exchange. Let's attack the bishop. Bishop's not having any of that smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. And again. Let's take it off the board. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece probably isn't going to move the knight. They're looking at trying to do some sort of attack down here with the bishop and the rook, getting the queen down here at some point. So they'll leave the knight there. What will they look to do next? Maybe the knight coming out. Yep, yeah, something. Let's take. And our king's got company. Takes. Bishop takes, or the rook takes, whichever has got space around the king. We don't want to be entertaining that. It looks like we should, but I don't think we want to do that. Do have a sting there, king takes, but we don't have any support for the knight putting the check. So we could bring the queen here and look to see if we're going to try that. Because he wants to disrupt our king area. Maybe we might get the disruption to his king area. But they may block it off and just go here with the bishop. Nope, the move back, but we could still do it. Yeah, could still do it. Takes, king takes, knight puts a check on. But it's just not meaty, is it? It's just disturbed the king. Queen's not getting in. So let's hang fire on that. Hang fire on it. Hold the horses. Queen X-ray and attacking the pawn. Let's go with that. Gives our king company. Puts a bit of pressure on them. They might decide well just to move the knight anyway because the queen, but the knight is protecting the queen, so I don't think that's moving. Knight probably coming to support the knight, even though the queen's not going to be taken. But it is scary because if we do greedy munch, his rook can simply do this. But he's not wearing any of those. So next thing, still eyeing this up. King takes. Nothing there yet. Bishop attacking the king. It's going to get something off the board, probably the knight. This knight's on the back. It's not really in the game at the minute. This pawn could be looking to just push up. Options and choices. Checks first, put the check on. Capture, let's capture, keep it simple. Now it's got here, here. Would that be nice if that knight stayed there? Let's bring the knight. Idea of here. Looks obvious, simple, straightforward. So they're attacking line, probably coming down here, supporting, or with the rook either way. So I'll bring the knight across, attacking the pawn. It's got the support of the pawn at the moment. Not sure what that rook move was, but when I say I'm not sure what the rook move is, 
there's always something behind it. We've learned that from like the over the board type um, scenarios. There's some sort of rationale. Oh, capturing. Doesn't like the night at all. All right. Well, that's a total horse of a different color now. So we have to change what we're trying to do. Rook could come and attack the pawn. And try and get them doubled up. It's attacking the queen. Queen does have an escape route. It can come here. So there's no castling on the king side. Which is a bit annoying for them. But do we get trapped? If we go here. Could drop the pawn. But then the knight can take. I suppose his knight can come here. Then we squeeze in here to be a bit more annoying. I feel like I'm going to end up trapping my queen. I'm going to bring it here anyway. Just to stop the castling. Which is quite meaty isn't it. So we've got the rooks looking to plan to come across here. Zoning on this pawn. And there's space for the knight to jump. Obviously it's going to get captured. If it gets captured the rook can take the. The queen can take the rook. But it all depends what the opponent does. As we always know. They never do what we want. So he has gone on attack. So we said we'd probably squeeze in here to try and make it look good. But are we trapping our queen? Does his queen then just come here and attack? Probably does, doesn't it? Now that I look at it. Can't do that because the queen's under attack. So we go here, then the queen just comes here. And it's almost like... Well, we've got the two rooks, so we're up the exchange. So that should work for us, shouldn't it? Yeah, let's do that. looks more positive for us they do have two flexible knights though just bear that in mind but we've already got a target zone for grabbing a bit of material potentially queen comes takes knight takes rook takes no it's blocking but the rook gets taken See, he's trapping me with his knights. Doesn't want the queen exchange. So we take. This knight can't move. But I can't go here and I can't go there. But the only piece that can take it is the queen anyway. So we're going to take the rook. Okay, yep. Yeah. Knight's grabbing some pawns. So does this better our position? Get the queen off the board. Let's take the queen. Knight's com coming greedy munching for the pawn. Let's just take this pawn here. And if we go here, the knight's going... Oh, they've resigned. Okay, this is the last game of another Mammoth session for myself with the Rapid. Uh, okay, let's go here. I thought I'd forgotten what to do for a second there. Let's go here, tuck in the palm. And let's castle. Let's open up the white square bishop. Let's attack their bishop. Capture. Let's attack the knight. Oh, hasn't done. Let's open up some space around the king. Free pawn. No, not a free pawn anymore. Oh, sure. 
open up the space around the king. Everything seems to be blocked with this pawn. Yep, okay, let's see if we can get there. It may just go like that. Does that give us time to come here? Wants to bring his ooh, knight into line, pawn into line. Oh, do we want to do that? Shall we bring the knight here? Get this bishop, maybe. I don't know. It's attacking the knight. Rook's got the defense on there, so get the bishop here to get the queen here. Put some pressure on the king. More pieces involved. Get the rook rather than the pawn. Rook rather than the pawn. I think I like the rook rather than the pawn. Pawn takes. King's going to move. Get the rook up. Ooh, no, because the bishop will be hitting the rook here. Rook takes. King moves, queen comes across. I'm going to go with the rook because we don't want to be opening up space for their bishop getting the diagonal through. That's the only reason I'm doing the rook one. Put a check on the king. The king does move across, allows the rook to attack the queen. Oh, sugar damn. attack the pawn or get this other rook involved attack the pawn oh you are having a laugh x-ray look at that oh come on dude oh oh get me down a pawn lovely setup and everything Take, king takes, check, I think he'll just take the rook though with the, gonna take, he's gonna take it with the bishop, nope, okay let's put the check on, put another check on, three pieces on this pawn, but the bishop is going to be, no not yet, Put another check on. And put another check on. Three pieces on the pawn again. Queen takes. Check on. Uh, where's he going? It's checkmate, isn't it? Oh, shh. Wow, calculation.